So at this moment, the, the whole Hyderabad city is under the clutches of Hindutva, and this Hindutva uh, people who, who are belongs to RSS, VHP, Bajrang Dal, and Hindu Aini, they uh, conspired this uh, violence and they. Uh, started it from the Saidabad area where the Hanuman temple is located and they are, they are they're blaming the Muslims uh, for throwing the green color on the wall of Hanuman temple and putting a leg of uh, a cow. Uh, we don't know how it is, uh, how they came to know it is a cow leg, we don't know because leg is a leg whether it is belongs to any uh, other animal also. So uh, the, it is a pre planned attack. Uh, and uh, they conspired to target the Muslim community. So within the one hour, uh, 200 to 300 uh, their activists uh, belongs to different uh, RSS wings uh, gathered at Hanuman Temple and they started stone spelting on Muslims' uh, houses and uh, they started uh, attacks on the Muslim properties and destroyed the uh, business of Muslims and they even uh, enter the Muslim houses, they attack Muslim women also. So after that, uh, uh, police uh, is completely failed to control the situation. Uh, instead of uh, uh, protecting the Muslim properties, uh, they started lottery charge on Muslims only. And uh, um, so many Muslims uh, uh, use are injured in the lottery charge. And uh, and five uh, five Muslim youths uh, stabbed by this uh, Hindutva forces. So the actually the situation is out of control, and Muslims uh, uh, feeling very much fear that uh, what will happen to their life and their properties in future. They don't know. So actually, it is a pre-planned attack, and it is conspired by Hindutva forces. How much uh, loss of property today? So today the loss of property we can't say uh, uh, exactly, but we can say uh, that it is uh, uh, lakhs of rupees of properties are damaged today, and the exact estimate we can be uh, we can say after that fact finding or any any report will come out. So, but uh, initially the uh, situation is uh, out of control. So now we demand the situation should be controlled, uh, and the police should be. Uh, work uh, uh, in a uh, in a secular manner. So, because the police is protecting the uh, culprits, those who instigated this uh, uh, violence. Because uh, recently Togaria visited Hyderabad city, he at the occasion of Hanuman Jayanti, and from that time uh, that all the peoples belongs to uh, secular uh, civil society saying that uh, this, uh, because of this Togadia, anything can happen in Hyderabad city. But uh, Hyderabad police failed to uh, control the situation and they also didn't take any precautionary measure, measures. Uh, and Togadia uh, delivered the speech very instigatively and he he, pro, he spoken very pro, provocatively and uh, he uh, referred the Prophet Muhammad in his, his speech and also uh, he remarks on Good Friday also. So I am saying that uh, uh, Muslims are doing this or uh, that and uh, instigated the Hindu emotions and because of uh, Togaria's visit to Hyderabad this uh, incident took place and this is the responsibility of police. There are so many cases are registered on Togadia in Hyderabad city. So how the Hyderabad police uh, permit this Togadia to, uh, to visit the Hyderabad and to speak on that Harman uh, Jayanti occasion, which is, uh, which is already a, people are feeling a very, very much dangerous first position. And it is, it is started only three years uh, before. Why they are starting new processions, uh, new uh, celebrations, uh, what is the agenda behind this? So only one agenda. So they want to show their strength. They want to show that they are very, uh, they are having very much force and they can uh, do whatever they want. So we are saying that by using the regional card or regional movement, which is Telangana movement, these Hindutva forces getting benefited. They are uh, getting uh, for forces from other sides. 
so by using this movement they are, they are spreading all over telangana region they they don't want uh, telangana state but they want uh, a hindu state within the state so that's why uh, uh, this uh, communal forces are getting uh, benefited because of this movement so the secular forces should come forward and protect uh, the secular values of uh, this region and show their existence in this area in this morning incident there was a vhp person also present there yeah one govind raju belongs to vhp who is residing in the sultan bazar but but he was present in the area of saidabad where this incident take place, took place and uh, this person is behind this all this violence oh, we are believing that how far is from both the places difference the difference, difference of both the places 10 km okay. thank you sir